Uh, so I'm Gareth Deakin. I'm the owner and founder of a consulting business called Sonorous Consulting. We are a business development and strategy consultancy focused on music tech. We've been doing this for about 10 years. Um, a lot of early stage startups we work with. Music companies, but always around music technology or creative technology. This is either third or fourth time here. So yeah, I'm a serial like fan of uh, Wallafonia. So. There are a lot of music events generally, and the music industry isn't actually that big in reality. So like internationally, there is a there is like a tapestry of events and you can travel from an event to event and you, and, uh, you see a lot of the same kinds of people. However, there is a real lack of events that focus on the ecosystem around technology. We index very heavily towards certain aspects of the music industry at a lot of other events. So actually an event that brings together a lot of the community and ecosystem that is around music tech means you have very different types of conversations. Or even if you have conversations on very similar topics, there are other, other conferences, the framing and the insights from those panels and talks are very different. Um, add to that, it's, you know, it's not, it's not like an enormous event. So you kind of get to meet and meet and, and know everyone. But like every year in the four years have come, it's always a good mix of new people. It's always really interesting. It's always very inspiring. Um, and I think it, it, it rewards leaning in. So like people participate, like everyone participates in some way in the event. And I think, again, that's very different like than most conferences. So it's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan. <laughs> I actually have quite a background in AI and, and music and the creative industries. So I was part of a very early AI music company called AI Music back in 2018 that we exited in uh, 20, 2022. So we were we were very early doing AI music related stuff. So so I've I've had first hand experience of a lot of this stuff. So the, it's been fascinating in the last couple of years to see how much the AI conversation is everywhere. Um, and when we talk about that, a lot of that is I mean AI has been everywhere in the music industry for a very long time. But really, we're often talking about you know generative AI or AI that actually materially affects or augments the creation of music, and then the associated. You know, you know, either issues or challenges that are around that from other parts of the business. And I think that's really fascinating uh, in the context of what's happening. So like in terms of how it affects my business, uh, I use AI in, in, in some of the things we do, but like realistically, it's much more, I, I advise a number of AI companies. I've been involved in AI stuff for a long time. So it's kind of like the fabric of a lot of what like kind of I'm involved in and I'm very interested in uh, like kind of where AI is pushing us both as an industry and in terms of the opportunities it's opening up from a creative point of view. I'm becoming more increased, increasingly convinced is true around AI. Most of the issues we have around AI are not to do with the technology themselves. They're to do with other things. So the training of um, uh, like music models without um, uh, permission, piracy by a different name, uh, the how are we going to pay artists when artists already have challenges with the sustainability of like the current streaming models or well, that's an old problem that already existed and i think ai is becoming like a force like a force multiplier to problems that already existed and we're now talking about those problems with more urgency because ai is really driving so i think the substantial problem that we're facing is are we ready as an industry in terms of infrastructure and a whole bunch of other things, licensing, innovation, et cetera, et cetera, to cope with what's coming, bearing in mind that those are already issues that existed that are now going to be much bigger because of just how fast this technology is moving. So I think, I think that's the bigger issue. And I think half the time we treat AI like it's somehow outside of nature, like it's like it's this thing doing stuff to us as opposed to something that we're actually using and it's part of our ecosystem. Uh, and therefore we need to consider it that way if we wanna find the solutions fastest to solve some of the problems that it's going to generate. Mm -hmm.